Hey guys, welcome back to Vitamin Y. So today is Wednesday, and that means we are using Ubelix C. So I did change around the deck from, <coughs> excuse me, from last week. Uh, I noticed that the deck was leaning more towards like a Malefic deck because you know with the Malefic starts and shit like that, and it's pretty much like, oh, activate Mount of the Bound Creator and, and you know throw Malefics at them. Ah ha 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 ha! I win. And that's not what we want to do with Ubelix exceeds. If we were going to go with a Malefic Ubel deck, then oh yeah, sure, let's do that. But this is Ubel exceeds. So, step back and I decided to work on the deck, redo the build, and now it is more of an, of more of an XC build. Definitely, I mean, yeah, ne definitely more of an XC build. So, uh, as you can see, we're trying out XYZ Burst because fuck back row. So if I have a level 6 or higher XC monster, of course me going into 10s, I would just be weapon that fit. I'm also going to try out the ranking up because I want to go ahead and do uh, the rank up of that one. Uh, what's his name? Uh, the uh, rank up from of Sky Palace into this guy, the Sky Palace Babylon, which is a really good card. 38 beater. Um, and uh, this card destroys a uh, monster by battle and sends it to the graveyard. So damage equal to your opponent equal to half the original attack destroyed monster. And then if it has Gungurta, which it will, once per turn, if this card destroys a monster by battle, you can attach some material and it can attack again. And it's a 38 beater. Like, tell me that's not powerful. So I'm going to go ahead and activate this. Set the Mystic Tomato because Mystic Tomato is destroyed. I get you Bell, of course. And uh, then I could pretty much just stall out. You know, this hand's not the best of hands right now. So, you know, it'd be nice for him to just attack, kill Mystic Tomato, summon you Bell. Sit on it. Like, if, unless he has MST. Oh, actually, if I wanted to, I can go ahead and activate Metal Reflux. I might do that. I might do that. I might activate Metal Reflux on summon it. And then XC with you Bell. Go ahead and make, uh, you know. Uh, Gustav, Max, Gunduda, and then if he sets a whole bunch of back row, XYZ burst. So, you know, see, as you can see, that it's more of an X XC deck, as you can see. Actually, if I wanted to, he can kill Messy Tomato. I'd summon. Oh, he's summoning that. Okay. So, uh, he can attack this. I it'd be destroyed. I get you Bell. And then I can activate this, summon this, I can activate this, return you belt to the deck, summon this, and then I can go into Super Chuckly Super Chuckly Fudge Covered Destroyer of Everything. <laughs> Alright, so you're gonna go ahead and summon your Azura Priest, that is fine. You're going to attack my Mr. Tomato. That is also fine. Because I will get you Bell. And the thing is, uh, look, level 10s are higher and the field cannot be targeted or destroyed by card effect. During the end phase, Bell has to destroy, uh, tribute a card or destroy herself. She can't be destroyed by card effects, therefore I can pretty much have Bell on the field forever, just stalling. So, you know, so pretty much right now. Unless you've got MST, I have an invincible email. I can't be targeted by card effects. I can't be destroyed by card effects. I cannot be destroyed by battle. You just said that. Remember, I went first. You just said that. <laughs> like, are you shitting me? I went first. <laughs> Draw. Alright, well, now since I know he has that. Uh, there's really no point in doing that, because he's just going to XYZ burst me. I mean, not XYZ burst me, freaking uh, Solemn Warning me. So, like I said, I think I'll just stall out. See, because it says, right down here, during the phase, tribute one other monster or destroy this card. I can't destroy this card, because it can't be destroyed by card effect. So, therefore, I have an invincible email. So, I think I'll just stall out. Uh, uh, bell effect. Uh, field spell. Go ahead. I have an invincible Ubel. Unless you get MST, I my Ubel is seriously invincible. So let's see. I'm thinking about doing return this to the deck, summon e Exodus, activate Metal Flux on, summon that, and go ahead and go into um, you know, Gustav Max, I guess. If he wants a warning, it fine. Go ahead. I really don't care. But his warning won't be able to touch. Oh yeah, it could. It could. So, you got MST? No? Okay, then I guess I just have an invincible U Bell. Oh my god, fucking creature swap. Yeah, you can have it. Wow. Alright, well, that sucks. 
God, I hate fucking creature swap. Swear to God, I do. Alright, well, uh, the, this, this is definitely a backfire. Uh, I'm gonna have to summon this. Uh, let me see. This card can be summoned to destroy battle. This card can destroy or by card effects. You take no battle damage from battles of this card, face out card. At the end of the battle phase. Yeah, it's interesting. Uh, with Tonal Monsters in the hand, back. The thing is, I just know he's gonna activate that goddamn warning. You know it. Fuck, him having you bell really sucks. I really don't want him to have my you bell. Like, this is bullshit. I hate creature swap. This isn't fair. I was supposed to have, like, awesome stall combo, and then this guy's like, oh, creature swap doesn't target. Like, fuck, dude, fuck creature swap. I hate creature swap. God, man. I can deal with it. It's just fucking warning. Just fucking warning. That's my only problem right now, is fucking warning. God. Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. This card, this card cannot be special summoned except by removing play one spirit monster in your grave. Uh, it's in your grave. Uh, you just remove and play that from your hand. This card's destroyed and pulling my battle you destroy one spell. Yeah, you just removed that from your hand. It says from your grave, clearly, on your card. You don't even know your own card. Okay, well, put it back in your hand. Put the Zero Priest back in your hand. Yep. Like I said, if you can get a spirit in the grave, shh, I'll tell you the truth, I wouldn't even be running that guy. Wait, you're going to use your uh, Yaksha effect, right? Unless you... Um, is it... Or unless you want to return my uh, thing. I will go ahead and take uh, 19. And then I will go ahead and summon... Track. Unless you want a warning it. You want a warning? Warning track? It's, the choice is yours. I don't really care. Like I said, I can't deal with Yuvel right now. I need to get rid of that warning. If I can get rid of that warning, I can go ahead and just summon Medion, and then Medion go ahead and bam, and then we'll bump heads, and then Yuvel will go back to my hand. Because that's what I want. It's to get that Yuvel off the field. If I can get that fucking Yuvel off the field, I'd be fine. God. Okay. Okay. Uh, ch -ch 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 -ch. <sighs> this is so crap. I'll return you back to the deck. I will go ahead and overlay into uh it can either be uh Congerta or uh Rail Cannon. Congerta uh, you can touch on the target, target one card your opponent controls, destroy that target if you do. Okay, might as well go into you, so you have the warning in it. If he doesn't, then I can just go ahead and pop it. Is that okay? Sure. So the choice is yours. You can warning it, or I can just pop your back row. I really don't care. I really don't care in this matter. And the reason why I don't care is because once that warning is gone, I can summon Medion and then bounce you. Because that's all I want to do right now. Is this just to say target card? Oh, it says a card on your opponents. Who would have thought that Ebel would have betrayed me like this? <laughs> that's struggle! <laughs> but seriously, I hate. I hate spirits and I hate creature swap like that. That's fine. So I'm going to go ahead and... Uh, I have not normal summon this turn, so I'm going to go ahead and normal summon. 
gonna go into battle phase, I'm gonna attack you, and then you're gonna come back to my hand, Yubel. Please, 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 Yubel, please, come back to my hand, please, please, I love you, please. <laughs> So give me my U-Bell back. Can I have my U-Bell back, please? Please, you take 300. Oh, there. I got U-Bell away from that guy's evil, evil clutches of evilness. What does Trag say? Uh, Yeah, I can revive it if I want to. Doesn't say this card cannot be special summoned. Yeah, so if I want to revive it with Call the Haunted, I can. Cool. It's pretty good. Pass to you. Oh, God, that was a pain in the ass. You. <laughs> you caused me so much trouble with your damn mountain-bound crater. You suck. <laughs> this guy is so up on resources, I swear to God. But seriously, I don't like dueling spirits. They're annoying. A fucking creature swap. That's like probably one of the most annoying cards in Yu-Gi-Oh. Swear to God, it is. But I know he won't be trying to get rid of the Medion. He really can't touch Medion, actually. Oh, that's cute. That's really cute. Uh, when I draw my card, I'll be 24? Yeah. Because that card can only grab Inherent Summon, so Call the Haunted's not an Inherent Summon, so I'm going to Call the Haunted and bring back Trag. Draw. Standby phase. Maybe I'll go back to the extra deck. I mean, back to the deck. Uh, top of the deck. Shuffle. And you can only get inherent summons. Call is not inherent. Oh my god, I can't type inherent. Mm -mm, you can't get him. It's, he's being summoned through call, not by his own effect. You can only get inherent summons. That's the reason why I did it. So you can't do it. So you can go ahead and attach your monster back because you can't do that. Anything that Thunder King can stop, uh, Roach can stop. Can stop. And Thunder King cannot stop Call. There. Think of it like that. Anything you know, level 5s or higher. Anything that Thunder King can stop, Roach can stop. Inherent summons only. Same thing with Black Corner Heaven. Inherent summons only. You know? So, if you think that you can still storm Roach or Black Corner Heaven a, let's say, Dragon Ruler, no, you can't. No, that's not, that's not an inherent summon. That's like, kind of like a trigger summon. So, yeah. yu gi is a complicated game. yu gi is a complicated game. There's a reason why everybody stopped running Roach. Pretty much Roach is only good for BLS, JD, uh, Machina, Fortress, uh, Synchros. He's not good for... Oh, he can stop my Malefic. He can stop my Malefic Cyber N. So that's the reason why I'm not going to summon it. Duh. But, uh, you know, only Inherent Summons. Do you understand? I mean, tell me what you guys think of the deck so far. So far, it's fun. It's fun. It's like a it's like a rank ten deck of awesomeness. You know. I just wish he really wouldn't creature swap me. Like that's literally all my, my literally my only problem right now is that he can creature swap me. If he couldn't creature swap me, I wouldn't even ha be having these difficulties right now. But just knowing the fact that he has three creature swaps in his damn spirit deck, and every time I do an awesome play, he's like, oh creature. I, 
like this. Stand. Ah, I'll look it up. Be right back, guys. I gotta freaking do this. There. It's right there. This effect can only negate special summons that does not start a chain link. Call of the Hunted starts a chain link. Because I go, activate Call of the Hunted. Response. So, Call of the Hunted starts a chain link. Of the Hunted starts a chain link. That's what, that's what I mean by inherent summon. Think summons that do not start a chain link. Inherent summon. <coughs> <coughs> It's cool. Go ahead and put it back on there. I mean, I'm just gonna rip it right off anyway, cause I'm gonna kill you. So doesn't even matter. That's the whole reason why I did it. It's good. It's good. So now you understand. So things that do not start a chain link, like I said, BLS, JD, uh, Machine and Gear Frame, uh, Synchro Summons. It was a cute play. I must admit, it was a cute play. But uh, yeah. Alright, pass to you. So now I got a 24 beater that cannot be uh, targeted or destroyed by card effects. And then he's just going to continue getting stronger the more I draw. So that's good. I'm just going to you to target one spell or trap card your opponent controls the target. Yeah. Oh, sure. Sure, that's fine. I'll take the 19. I'll take it. I'm cool. Put that back in your hand. Draw. Oh, Mr. Tomato. Hey. What's up? Alright, we are going to go ahead and banish. Oh, I didn't mean that. And special summon Malefic Cyberan, which is a 4,000 meter that cannot be targeted or destroyed by card effects. You better have a motherfucking creature swap. Battle Fader. Alright. <sighs> I hate spirits. Thanks. Spirits are annoying. I swear to God, spirits are like the embodiment of annoying. I should you not right now. Feed creature slots my fucking malefic cyber, and I'm probably going to lose. Oh no! Wait, I could just set my mountain bound crater on top of my mountain bound crater. Duh. So no, I just go set. Just get rid of it, set, and then he'll be destroyed, so. That's cute. This guy's like the embodiment of annoying. I'll take the 19. This guy's driving me crazy. Oh, now I draw track. Thing is, I can just bring back Trag, but then he'll bounce me again. So I'm gonna go ahead and activate Mountain Bound Crater again. I'm gonna go ahead and yeah, I'll go ahead and against this Tony. What the fuck? You're fighting against. You're fighting for your life against this Tony. Love it. Love it. You know, I hate when I have to fight against against this Tony. It's just like, why am I fighting against this Tony? Just to tell you guys, I run to you, Bells. <sighs> if only he was just a little bit lower. Just a little bit lower. That's my only problem right now. If he was like under 2,000, I could have just went main phase to metal flex slime, make a Gustav Mac, bang bang, ski ski, g g. Except that's not cowboy. <laughs> but you know, like I said, the deck. It, it, tell me how it's looking. It's looking. It's looking good, right? I mean, so far I haven't used have had to use X Y Z burst because he hasn't been setting any back rows. But you know, when I do, it'll be good. You know, I ended my turn and you never drew, right? 
How did you sum- wait. Okay, okay, whatever. Oh, that's how he's gonna get the spirits. Whatever. This card destroys the Pokemon mode, you can destroy what's part of your phone controls. Okay. Okay, I will go ahead and take 800. I'm going to uh, special summon Trag, and then I'll get destroyed, and I'll get my effect, and then I will go ahead and summon Ubel again. Yeah. That's fine. That's driving me crazy. <laughs> All right, now what? Whew, doing against these spirits. I run two U bells, three Mystic Tomatoes. Because Mystic Tomato can at least touch itself. Oh, you fucked up, nigga. You f oh, no, I fucked up. You <laughs> the one time where fucking uh, Terran Carnage not in this deck. It's not. The struggle. <sighs> wow, this guy has like all the fucking answers for everything I do. Uh. Activate that. Pass to you. God. This guy literally had every single answer to everything I've done this entire duel. Uh, Monster Zone in defense. That goes back to your hand. When this card is not something you can risk, it's going to target one face up attack position monster your opponent controls, trying to target it to your hand. To the hand. Okay. But that can't be targeted anyway, so it doesn't even matter. Go ahead. But God. Every single time I do something, this guy has the answers. Answers, the answers, the answers. And I haven't even got my rank up for Babylon yet. That sucks. This is a target one card in the field. You can't destroy it and you cannot attack the this card cannot attack the turn you activate this. Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and summon Night Express Knight. Okay. He goes to zero. I will go ahead and overlay into the Gangura thing. Okay. XYZ burst! Blow up your macro. It wasn't Mirror Force. Is it just all set cards? Oh, it is! Wow! Wow! <laughs> I did it! <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Alright guys, so tell me what you guys think of the deck. So far, it's looking pretty good, right? <laughs> so I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Vitamin Y. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for all the support. And I will see you guys tomorrow with some U-Bell Fire Kings. Thanks for watching.